Hello Aries. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start it from today, the 6th until the 13th. So please also excuse my nails. Universe, what's the current energy between Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind for October the 6th? Okay. Okay, Aries. <laughs> it's signed off like at 100 already. Okay. Someone, okay, someone is pissed at you, someone from your past. Your ex is still bitter, okay? That's what's going on. Your ex is still bitter. They still hold it on to you. You'll see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, um, what would I like to say to Aries for October the 6th to the 13th, 2021? Okay. Oh, my gosh. What is good? That's really good. Okay. Side message, side message that's not going to apply to a lot of Aries, okay? Aries, if you low-key cheating, low-key creeping, or you're creeping blatantly, whatever, be very careful, okay? Do the right thing. That's the sound advice, right? But be very, very careful this week. This week, I see there's, there's some drama, okay? So just be careful with that. This could be vice versa, too. Like, if you feel like your person's cheating, you might find this person. You're going to catch this person. Okay. You see what else I'm getting. So, what they would like to say is, like, they, they're big mad. Okay. They're really angry at you. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, why are they keeping hidden from Aries? Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's another person in the picture. Okay. Another person in the picture. It could be their um, whoever they was with. It's weird because it's giving X energy is strange. Okay, so let's just say you give an X a chance. I feel like this person is with someone else as well, but they're not telling the truth. Okay, or um, probably this is an X and your X was trying to holler at you, but you curved them. But whoever they was, whoever they're with, thinking that you guys still have something going on when you probably don't want them. Okay, so it can go so many different angles. Okay, so you'll see what else I'm getting universe the person that's on aries mind how do they feel about aries okay so we got a lot of cards here the emperor the your pentacles and the ten of wands they feel like um wow so this is someone who's this is a lot <laughs> this is someone um who do not take accountability um i feel like this is someone who have anger issue so if this is an abusive person definitely get out of this connection it reg regardless of what type of abuse it is either is verbally abusive emotionally abusive physically okay if it's all of the above avoid this person because i feel like this person is very pissed very angry they blaming you for everything and i feel like this is an ex okay universe the person that's on aries mind what is their true feelings for aries for october the 6th page of wands is like they want to talk to you again is weird this is someone who's very erratic universe the person that's on aries mind what is their intentions ten of cups is to win you back oh my god this is a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna sum it up <laughs> um once i'm done with this spread universe the person that's on aries mind what actions would they take with aries five of cups missing you oh Okay, this is an ex. So your ex want all the smoke. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are, you found someone way much better. And your ex is very jealous. I was getting that in your last reading too. I was getting that in your last reading. So this week, they might be with the BS. Okay, it's like they want all the smoke. It's like they're trying to fight for you and fight with your person. Okay. And that's what I'm getting. This could also go the other way. Probably you're with somebody. Their ex is still stuck on them. They want to fight you. Okay. Or it can go another way. Whereas as an ex of yours, your ex was trying to holler at you. You don't want them. Um, then um, whoever they're with think you still want them and they want to fight with you too. It's like a lot. A lot of ways this can go. Okay. Um I'm just seeing an ex is still stuck on you and the ex is mad and the ex is trying to be um, very conniving, okay? Very conniving. That's what I'm getting. Um, this person could be another Aries. So I got fire here. This could be a Sagittarius, okay? Um, could be a Leo as well. There's Cancer here. 
Um, there's Taurus here, but I would say the strongest is a Cancer, Taurus, and Aries. Okay, there's Scorpio too. Okay, wow. Okay, so this is a lot. <laughs> Let's see what else I'm getting. Hey, universe, give me a four card spread. So there is child nature, gambler, networker. Yeah, see, like, I feel like someone is trying to, like, kind of set you up, okay? And this is, like, with love. I feel like it's, like, they want, it's weird. I feel like they want the smoke, and I feel like this person is aggressive and abusive, okay? This person might have a, a fatal attraction. I was getting that in your reading in the summer, I believe. Okay, so this could be that same person. This person have a fatal attraction towards you. Okay, I might name it that. So just be careful. Let's look at um, let's look at the Romans Angel and the Capra deck. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. Deception. Universe, give me the right cards. Trust. Universe, give me I would say if this person wants you to meet up with them and this person's abusive, I would say do not, do not avoid this person. This person's like trying to set up, okay? They might even get um, their girlfriend to like fight you because they mad that you move on. So I wouldn't even meet up for anything, okay? Um, let's just say you guys was very close and they had like a family event or a mutual friend event. And they're, by, they're trying to say, yeah, you can come. I wouldn't go there. I feel like this is a setup, okay? I might name it a setup, a fatal attraction. Something's going on. It's crazy. Let's see. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Aries? So this is Matroy Man. Universe, give me three red cards. Okay, message. Yeah, see, they're going to try to reach out to you, you know, something like that. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. Concern. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Your intuition say, uh-uh, this is awkward. This is weird. Listen to it, okay? Do not take their um, events or offers, okay? This is someone who's with the B as they're mad at you and they're trying to plot, okay? Um so there's deception with your man okay they haven't changed you're still the same person probably worse then there's trust and message they want you to um, believe whatever they got to say keep an open mind they want you to be naive official person family room okay so again like probably you guys was together um this could be someone that you have kids with or this is someone like you had like um kids with from other partners uh, but you guys been with each other for quite some time. So you had a bond with their kids and they're trying to invite you to their kids party or something like that event. I wouldn't even go. Okay. This person's abusive. Um, any type of level, verbally, emotionally, physically, you deserve love and concern. Yeah. So if you've been feeling a little lonely, don't, don't take this offer too. Okay. Just be careful of that. Um, separation and house. Okay. It's like, I feel like they, especially if you guys are in another relationship, they want to start drama with whoever you're with, okay? Okay, let's look at the other deck. Universe, give me a four card spread. Okay, so there's growth, chaos, yeah, denial, wishing. Yeah, this person's mad is be mad because they can't have access to you. So they're gonna try to do whatever because they know that you don't want them. This is cycle. You give me cycle vibes, okay? You I feel like you guys really need to just avoid this person. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a three card spread. So there is engagement ring. Yeah, some of you guys again are in another relationship. Some of you guys are recently engaged and they know that they like they they acting very erratic. Okay. Then there is healthy choice. Okay, you move on from this person. 
Universe, give me one more card. Golden Mirror, that was a very one-sided relationship, healing heart. Don't be naive, okay? That's what the universe trying to um, give as a message. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Then there's engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, com um, completion, union, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier, self-absorbed um, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So yes, look here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. So there is uh, material and spiritual prosperity, trump, um, trumpet, disruption, intuition, and shadow. Again, listen to your intuition. We got the tower energy, chaos. That's another tower energy. This person is with it. They, with all the smoke, this person need help. Like, like really seriously need help. Okay, if this is your reading, again, be careful with this person. Okay, so universe, give me a five card spread, 20 cards. Universe, give me a five card spread. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Again, do not be naive, okay? Like, yes, you're protected, but don't be naive with this person because this person is with the smoke. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. Like, they're trying to make you feel away. Just send thunder, clear the air. This is them. Just avoid, okay? And silence, peace prevails. Yep, ignore them. Fellow traveler supports all around you, and your commitment is being tested. I feel like your peace is being tested. This is someone who's with it, okay? New moon and towards prosperity lies ahead. Okay, because you move forward with someone way much better. So... Look at here. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages remain positive? Universe, give me three more cards. Opportunity. Choose a new direction. Yeah. There's something better. Okay. Perfect timing and forgiveness. Yeah, so you can forgive without meeting this person if this person's abusive and, you know, they have that side to them. Um, I feel like what the universe trying to say is more like trust your intuition. Avoid this toxic person because it's like they like have nothing out. They have nothing to lose, basically. That's the vibe that I'm getting. So just be very careful. Okay, let's look at. Let's look at the oracles. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. You always have a choice, okay? Universe, give me three red cards. Okay, um, don't focus on monetary issues, focus on spirit. Universe, give me three red cards. Rest and rejuvenate. Happy home. Magician is like, yeah, it's like they try to interrupt what you have currently. Universe, give me one red card. Okay, Aries, your energy. This horse could be another Aries. Okay, there's Scorpio here, rebirth. Just, just be careful with this person. There is going to be a full moon in Aries soon. So probably that's why it's showing so much <laughs> intense energy. Um, it could be that. But as Mercury retrograde, there's a lot of like um, things going on with astrology. I would just say trust your intuition. Please don't ignore it. This person's toxic, abusive, avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay. Um, don't even entertain it. Even if they're trying to talk smack, whatever. Do not entertain it, okay? Now, again, trust your intuition. Now, if it was abusive, it was, it's not going to be, like, in this sense of, like, this person's going to be with the smoke, but they might just try to do something to get your attention, okay? And it's really up to you if you want to um, talk to them or not, okay? But I feel like their intention is not good, okay? So, that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.